Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and um, today we've got a very special guest and that is Sarah Ingham, <laughs> not in the flesh fortunately, but uh, before we get into this video please head on over to my second channel and um, if you haven't already please subscribe there. I've also changed the name, you'll notice, so please update your bookmarks if you have it bookmarked. That would be great. Thank you all so much. Let's get right into this. What has Sarah Ingham been up to? It is brilliant. I think she's thick as fuck. I'm sorry. I do. I seriously do. So, um, yeah, this happened on Instagram uh, yesterday, I think, in fact. And somebody said, seems like they're having more children just to get more fame, clout and money. And Sarah, in her infinite wisdom, <laughs> God, she must, I think she must live in her own little clouded, bubbly world. It's so, so Sarah-like, isn't it? She says, you do realise children don't bring fame? Our views don't change just because we have a child. Our views have been the same for the last four years, despite having two children during that time. Now, <laughs> oh my word, she is an absolute mad woman. Absolutely mad, insane, I would say, right? So, Sarah, your views have never changed in the last four years because I, I, I mean, in the sense that they've all been shit. Uh, but they are generally less than it was four years ago. Anyway, by the by, I've got some information for you. I'm, in fact, going to educate our Sarah Ingham on this. So please bear with me. It's very interesting. And Sarah, especially, should take note. So about four or five years ago, the Ingham's views were teetering around the 100 thousand one forty three you can see there one forty three thousand one thirty nine thousand one fifty four sixty four thousand went up there to four thirty one inexplicably and then around about this time we had two hundred and twelve one twenty eight for we did something amazing in London and tears over breakfast I got a crazy surprise tattoo, got 230,000. But then, inexplicably, uh, Sarah gets a huge shock with a pregnancy thingy in the thumbnail, 461,000. And then, shock pregnancy test reveal, shot up to 800,000 views. How do you explain that, Sarah? Next one, emotional pregnancy reveal to our girls. 1.8 million views. How on earth did you survive on only 1.5 million views, Sarah, having had around about 150,000 as your general average around that time? It must have been so difficult. And then just to further prove the point, the very next vlog, which was not pregnancy related, giant unicorn freak shake yeah um it dropped down to just over two hundred thousand views so uh i'm not quite sure if you're quite getting this but you can see what i'm getting at here sarah and then around about the birth we had uh let's see 117,000 112,000 celebrating special birthday 163,000 um 124,000 115,000 for something exciting in the mail and uh, 215 you can see the general you know the views around this time 100,000 95,000 there and then um you know so you can see the general views here you know they're not you know they're, they're kind of averaging around about the 120,000 mark ish Right, and then the birth comes in at 964,000 views, and then surprising our girls, 1.1 million views, a very special baby name reveal, 700,000, and then after that goes down to 240, 
130. And you see what I'm saying here, Sarah? It kind of jumped up inexplicably for some reason. Who knows what that reason was? I just have no idea at all. It came as a complete surprise. So if we jump forward a couple of years now to the next pregnancy and uh, the views around this time were, well, you can see they, they plummeted significantly then, but you know, 70, 60, it's one that 147, that did quite well. But, you know, you can see the views, 82, 71, 62, uh, even clickbaiting Jace at the hospital didn't do that well. 76, 60, 76. And then the pregnancy announcement, 170,000. I mean, you're averaging around 70-odd, and then you get 170. Then the big surprise thingy got 400,000. And after that, it jumped, <laughs> dropped right down again to 64,000 and 70,000 and things like that. And then, oh, yeah, and then it surprised baby gender reveal <laughs> went up to 400,000. I mean, it could be just a coincidence that those figures happened on those particular vlogs or it could be some other reason that people are tuning in specifically for those vlogs, but what do I know? <laughs> I don't know these things, do I? Absolutely insane. So, jump forward a year or so later, and the birth is about to be upon us, and uh, the views around this time, they're around 82,000, 65, 65, 55, you can see the general gist of the views that they've been getting 73 90 90 80 and on and on and on the views at this time were pretty much as low as they've been ever they did have a slight jump up there when uh, Isabel had the good grace to uh, break her bone in her foot but uh, you know <laughs> that's uh, just a clickbait story. Anyway, then came the birth. And what happened? You were getting 82. There was 104 there, 106. Um, yeah, clickbaiting is about getting waxed, obviously. Uh, but then we had the birth. It jumped up to 411,000 views for the birth. Emotional siblings reaction got 400,000 again Sarah what the hell happened right so as you can see generally when these births happen there is a definite spike and it's not just a little spike is it it's a huge spike you know oftentimes going up by maybe like four times the the average view count for one of their usual daily vlogs. Anyway, but then there's obviously all the other pregnancy related videos around that time. So even if they're getting general views for like say 80, 70 as an average, but also clickbaiting the pregnancy, that means they are capitalizing off the pregnancy, right? So even if the views are not going up significantly, they are still making money from that pregnancy and then from the birth and then the baby's first this, the baby's first that, the baby's first the other and um, that's all money that's been made directly from having a baby. So, you know, I think the the figures speak for, for themselves but if you're not that convinced Sarah can we take you back through one or two other instances which may or may not have happened <laughs> I don't know may, you know I don't make these things up but these things may or may not have happened if you had ever had children in the first place so back in September of 2016, these were the general views around uh, their vlogs that got quite a lot of views, 500,000, even 1.9 million as general, you know, did quite well. Isabel's 11th birthday, 
21 million views. So even though they were already getting decent views, that jumped up immeasurably. And um, I don't know, but, you know, if Isabel had ne never been born, for example, you know, that vlog would never have been made, would it? Now fast forward to April of 2017 and it's Ireland's turn to shine. The vlogs around that time, we've got 87,000, 255,000, uh, 1.5 million, 200,000. Ireland's birthday morning opening presents, 2.3 million views. Again, could be a coincidence, but uh, you know... I brought in the views for her birthday. That kind of tells you the story, Sarah. And on to June 2017, we have uh, Esme's birthday. And uh, around this time, they were getting 180,000, 150. Um, and then for Esme's birthday, it jumps up to 2.2 million views. Again, it's a jump. It is the definite jump, and I'm not sure if you relate the two things, Sarah, but I feel like it's related. The next year, Isabel's birthday again, you've got 190,000, 320,000, 240,000. Isabel's birthday morning, 6.2 million views. <laughs> I mean, it again. It could be a coincidence, but forward to April of 2018, and Ayla, she was fortunate enough to go to Disney that year for her birthday, and um, you can see the views are already quite high because they're in Disney, uh, 300,000, 400,000, but on her birthday even still, it still jumps up significantly to 1.3 million views, and... Um, Again, I think that this might be a recurring thing. Again, we have Esme's birthday of that year. And uh, the views, 200-odd, 200 200-odd, 200 170. Um, Esme's birthday <laughs> jumps up to 4.2 million. You see what I'm saying here? Really, I should put this in like a graph form. But if we move forward a few more years and we look at even like Jace's birthday here... We have um, 51, 61, 38. You can see the views have dropped a lot since then. But even then, the, the views average in around 36, 46 and things like that. On his birthday, it jumped up to 96,000. So that's still a big jump. And then you've got uh, Isla's birthday. And um, it's still low low views that year and it still jumped up to 194,000 views and then we go and have a look at Esme's most recent birthday and the views around this time were 35, 55, 50 you know all pretty shit views if I'm being honest with you and then 72 and 55 and then Esme's birthday jumps up to 176. And you can see what I'm saying. The views obviously are nowhere near what they used to be. You know, they don't get the millions of views for their birthdays anymore. But comparatively to what their daily views are, it's a huge jump. So it's a big payday compar comparatively speaking to what they usually get on a daily basis. And I don't think Sarah actually understands how any of this actually works because she just thinks oh well our views are shit anyway now <laughs> they're just shit they have been shit for the last four years but in actual fact if you look at all the views in general speaking they have gone down so badly but they've gone down gradually so you, she probably hasn't even noticed and but you could always see the spike when there's a big birthday or a, a birth the there is a spike it's a huge spike and it's obvious that the reason why they're getting those views is because of the birth or the birthday and i don't think sarah equates a birthday to um 
a child being born, which is uh, just unbelievable to think of that it that way. Now, <laughs> there's one point I haven't touched on yet because this is going to blow Sarah's mind, and I wanted to end on it because. <laughs> I love to see Sarah's mind fritter away and those cogs turning and her brain like exploding all over the caravan. So, <laughs> what is it that I've got to show her? Let's see. So this is right at the very beginning of their YouTube career, right? The first few weeks, I guess, and you can see the views there, 10k, 20k, 100k, um, and then there's one there at 1.1 million views. And, I mean, the, the amount of views actually really doesn't matter because we're right to the very beginning, and then... And then there was nothingness. Before YouTube happened, there was nothingness. It was like a void in space, in time. Nothing, literally nothing. Once that void had blown wide open, there was a, a bunch of kids came onto YouTube and um, they started making their parents money. Before that, there was nothingness. That was a point I'm trying to make. I don't think I came. it came across the way I wanted it to, to be honest with you. So I'm having to explain myself now. So <laughs> the point is that without kids, there would not be a YouTube channel. Chris and Sarah have made an absolute fortune, made a career out of exploiting their children, made a career out of pimping their kids out, made a career out of doing things like the um, the infamous pool party video. And, you know, I didn't see Sarah Ingham with her, you know, her gear um, hanging out, sliding backwards down a, a slide into the pool uh, whilst Chris filmed her from on top, you know, like he did to the kids that day. And, um, I, I'm thinking that that wouldn't have pulled in quite as many views, to be honest with you. Um, so you see where I'm coming from here, Sarah, that, um, without any children, because you're saying that kids do not bring you fame. <laughs> it certainly isn't you. I've got to say you are not the talent. Okay. Uh, without kids at all, if you had never, ever, ever filmed your children on YouTube, ever, and you and Chris had decided to make a, a YouTube channel together, would you have had any views at all? Answer that question honestly, and I think there lies your answer. Okay, so now we've educated Sarah, let's uh, work on Chris next. <laughs> That's uh, another video for another day. So until next time, please give this video a massive thumbs up. Comment all your thoughts down below. Have you learned something new too? Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And until next time, have a lovely day. Take care of yourselves and bye-bye.